Hello everybody, it's me, Kevin Dew. Especially cheaper 3D printers often come with the price of neglected electrical safety. In this short video, I show you how to make the Anet A8 electrically safe. In the worst case, a 3D printer can kill you or cause severe damage through fire because of cheap and underdimensioned parts. If only your print fails during said event, you can count yourself lucky. The Anet A8 is one of the more popular cheap Chinese DIY printers, available for under $160 and it's no exception. It's a great printer after a few upgrades and invested time. However, danger is lurking all the time. Either because of open mains contacts at the stock BSU or too thin wires or connectors at the heated bed. I have already dedicated a video about how to increase safety at the stock BSU, which you can find in the top right corner. Make sure to check it out. Other than the PSU, the heated bed is the core of my concerns. With a resistance of under two ohms, it draws more than 6 amps, requiring thicker wires than the average stepper motor. According to common electricity rules, a 1.5 square millimeter cable needs to be used for currents up to 13 amps, regardless the voltage. Remember, the PSU can supply 20 amps, with the main power connector being just a 1.5 square millimeter cable, theoretically exposing a hazard. But normally you don't use all of the 20 amps. In my case, every main connection is wired with 1.5 square millimeter wires. With the cables to the heated bed being directly soldered on, as the white connector is underdimensioned and overheats. Continuing with the heated bed, the main pot needs to switch it on or off. The internal MOSFETs are sufficient for this job, but they can get hot, which is not only dangerous, but also reduces their lifespan. An external MOSFET might be a good tool to go with, as it bypasses the current, resulting in a longer lifetime of the board and reduces heat. Furthermore, I decided not to install an external MOSFET for the extruder, as the current flowing there does not exceed 3 amps, and the mainboard connector and the cables are good enough. Even with these upgrades, there is no 100% safety. There might be many more hazards that could result in a fire or electrical shock, which aren't covered here. I think the best way of looking at this topic is common sense. If you see a hazard, just unplug the printer and everything will be fine. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any question or found another hazard I didn't think on yet, make sure to share it with me in the comment section. Have a nice day!